Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be another video on Dale Jarrett's um, last few years of his career from 04 to 08. He would drive, continue to drive the UPS um, car. In 04, they changed the body style of the Taurus a little bit. They changed the front grille and the lights and what have you. But other than that, the paint job that was on the UPS um, NASCAR uh, was pretty much the same. Moved a few decals here and there around. Um, but UPS was the primary sponsor of this car. And they held all the the high dollar spots. The uh, the hood, the rear quarter panel, the uh, trunk lid. Um, all the spots that they pay big money to be on. That year also was a... 50 years of legendary golf with Honor Palmer. And this car was done up in golf livery. Got the grass everywhere on it. Pretty cool. Got Arnold Palmer on there. But UPS is the main sponsor. What can Brian do for you? Everybody remembers those commercials. If you have, if you don't remember them, go back and uh, go on YouTube and just pull up. Dale Jarrett UPS commercials and you will get a laugh. It was a lot of fun ones. Everybody was begging him to drive the truck. He eventually did if you followed it all the way to the end. Okay, so this is when the car got really ugly. I did not like it when they changed the scheme. This was in 05. I don't know what they were thinking. But just like his career in this car was going downhill, so were the paint jobs. But um, he was getting close to being on his way out, and he was just making the best of it. His career was, uh, he didn't win very many times in the UPS car. I think he won, let's see here, four, five, six, seven, eight times in the UPS car. Most of his wins came in the quality care car. So we got that one there. And then we have the Toys for Tots. It came out and they actually had a child um had a contest and let kids design his car and this happened to be the winning paint job not too bad pretty cool odd colors very little brown you know ups got their brown right there what can brown do for you but for the most part that's the first time the car was you know other than the yellow one we saw in the other video this is the only time it was not uh, primarily UPS dominant. So then, that year was over. So then the Taurus changed again. What year is that? 06. So they went from the Taurus to the Fusion. Excuse me. He only drove the Fusion one year. And they destroyed that UPS paint scheme i did not like that one either it got it got worse but so dj leaves robert yates racing and i guess he had intentions in retiring but michael waltrip was starting a new team and he needed somebody with the championship provisionals that he would get into almost every race he could qualify um get in by provisional that means if you was a past champion, you could get in now different. It's different now with all these um, owner points and charters and all that crazy stuff. Back then, if you didn't have a championship to back you up to help you into one of the last two spots of the race, you went to the house. So then he switched to Michael Waltrip Racing. This actually was a pretty good car. Even though with the Toyota, I wasn't too happy about that, being a Ford guy. But Michael Walter Racing started out with the Toyota. And this is a good-looking car. It, uh, it turned out pretty good. Then, of course, UPS and Toys R Tots got together again, and they created this car, which I don't know if it was kid design. It might have been, but... uh. It turned out pretty good. Then the Kentucky Derby. The 133rd running of the Kentucky Derby. And 
and full body wrap on that one it was pretty good it's a good looking car last the last year before the car of tomorrow which would have been 2008 sneak over here and get this one this was the epitome of nascar racing 2008 this was his last year he only ended up racing five races um no wins no nothing to write home about they put that big old funky wing on the back and they put that really low splitter in the front if everybody remembers that so this was the last ride if you look on the rear it's got 1977 2008 yeah, he started a ways back in the, the Bush Grand National, which they just called it Grand National back then. I'll show some of those cars. I got those as well. And uh, don't forget to go back and watch the other year, the earlier years of Dale Jarrett if you missed those. We're going to sneak over here. Just for a teaser. Um, Carl Edwards. There was a couple other drivers. I, I'm trying to remember. David Reagan drove a UPS car as well. UPS actually went away for a little while. And then they were an associate sponsor. And they were on the sixth car for a while. I think that was David Reagan. And then they went to the 99. And that was a pretty good paint job. And we're going to come over here and sneak up here and going to show you one last thing. So this video is the last one of his um, racing with UPS. So this truck here was really expensive. If you were an employee, you got the very first, oop, you got the very first one that came out. And it was just the regular truck with no flames on it. And when they, whenever they introduced the first UPS car, they actually had the UPS car in the back of one of these trucks. And they actually rolled it out on the dock. And I'm going to try and illustrate that now if I can. Bear with me. So there we are. So we got, this isn't a well planned out video, y'all. I'm pull the tray out. Right. This didn't come with this particular UPS truck, but it, it goes with it. The truck that's in it's actually a winter uh, winter circle release. There it goes. The 143rd scale of the UPS. Uh, car to go with the truck You guys remember the last race that he ran I think it was the all-star race in 2008 They actually had one of these UPS um, Trucks with a big old engine in it and what have you they had them at the track a lot Actually one of the things that they did at the track they would have UPS at the track and if you bought souvenirs and uh, if you had extra baggage or whatever and you wanted to uh, ship it home, you could actually ship your collectibles and whatever else you had home, UPS, and it would hopefully, uh, you would beat it home, but you would get it shortly thereafter. But uh, miss these days for sure. Miss these days. All right. Take care, and we'll talk to you in the next one.